If you've ever run Rails new and then just tried to deploy to Heroku, you might run into this error where it says, hey, it looks like you're using SQL Lite and I can't deploy that. And this is caused by Heroku having an inferical file system. That pretty much means it builds a copy of your app and then serves it from a read-only file system. So you can't write anything to disk. And with the SQL Lite database, what it's actually doing here is it's actually writing it to the disk. So if we were to try and use this database type, we wouldn't be able to write this file and have it kind of persist between multiple like servers and stuff. The solution to fix that deploy error is kind of fun. What we're going to do is we're going to change our adapter to use Postgres. And the reason we use Postgres is because Heroku ships with like a really nice add-on and pretty much the database lives off the server where your app lives. Um, so let's quickly do that. Rails comes with a nice little tool to help us make this easy. So we're going to type bundle exec rails db system change and we're going to do dash dash two equals postgresql like that. And then when we run that, it's going to say, hey, looks like we're going to be changing your database file. Um, and we do want to change that. And you can see it's also made some changes to our gem file. So you can see here, we've got like Postgres being used now for our database. And we've also got Postgres has been added to our gem file. So if we do git diff, you can kind of see what they did there. So I'm quickly going to run bundle. And that's going to just update our gem file, like the gem lock file. And uh, we can see, there we go, a few things have changed. So now I'm going to do, okay, uh, changing db to be Postgres. And I'm also going to now do git push Heroku. Cool. Once that's all deployed, um, your Heroku app should be kind of there and working. And they probably would have detected that you're running Postgres now and it's automatically added the add-on for you, which is pretty cool. So that is all there is for today's episode. I hope you found that useful and maybe that's just kind of saved you a bit of time. Um, I know it helped me a little bit in the past. Um, if there's anything you want to see, please make sure you add a comment below, um, whether it's on Dev2 or YouTube. I read all those comments and always appreciate everything lovely. And if you smash that like button as well, more people will see this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.